Hey guys, Pierre from Into Fly Fishing and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. In the vise today I've got a fly called the Zebra Midge, an excellent midge pattern or chronomid pattern that works well in both rivers and streams. This fly tying tutorial is brought to you by Moonshine Rods Company. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check the links in the video description below to see my full hands-on look at their Epiphany 3 weight 10 foot 6 inch Neuronymphing rod coming in at around $280, including an extra tip section. I think this is one of the best value Euro nymphing rods on the market today. The tools you need to tie the zebra midge is a vise, a bobbin holder for the thread, scissors including an old pair to cut the ribbing wire, whip finishing tool, a bodkin which is optional, and a UV torch if you're going to use UV resin. For the bead, I'm using a 3.5mm tungsten bead in color copper. For the hook itself, I'm using a scud hook in a size 14. This is by a company called Moosh Fly Fishing, it's their model 8464. Any scud hook would work, but I prefer using barbless hooks. The first step is to slide the tungsten bead onto the hook with the smallest hole going first, and then the bigger hole at the back. Then slide the bead until it sits right up against the eye of the hook. Secure the hook in the vise and make sure that it is seated correctly and that the hook point is protruding. For thread I'm using Danville 70 Denier Fly Master Wax in 6.0. This is in color black. Attach the thread just behind the bead, wrapping forward a couple of times then wrapping the thread over itself to lock it in place. Trim off the excess. Now build a thread dam behind the bead just to secure it in place and start building the taper. Now open the thread by spinning the bobbin counterclockwise. This flattens the thread so that you get a much more even body. Now lay a thread foundation all the way back down the hook shank. Now run the thread all the way up again to just behind the thread dam and break off this little section of the ribbing wire. For the ribbing I'm using ultra wire in color silver and size medium. Attach the ribbing to the side of the hook shank and secure all the way down to where you stopped the thread foundation earlier. Now the next step is very important and can be used while tying various other flies too. So open the thread again, spinning the bobbin counterclockwise and start building a taper for the abdomen. Once you see the thread doesn't lie flat anymore, just spin the bobbin counterclockwise again to open it and just go and build the taper. So once you reach the bead, now run back again to about three quarters down the hook shank, spin the bobbin again to open the thread. Now run back up again. Now halfway down the hook, then up again. Just going to open the thread again. Now quarter down the shank, going up. As you can see, we're just building a nice taper to this body. Now that we're done tapering the body, we're going to wrap the ribbing in the same direction as the thread. And once you reach the back of the bead, secure with your thread. So right here I'm going to do three wraps behind the wire, three wraps in front, one more wrap behind, one more wrap in front, and all you need to do um, is to turn the wire and it breaks off right where you secured it. Now grab your favorite whip finishing tool, you can also do it by hand, and just do a three or a four turn whip finish. I'll just do two for safety. It's not really necessarily, especially when you use resin to coat the body like we're gonna do. It always helps. And cut off or trim off the excess. 
To seal the body of the fly, I'll be using Solaris Bone Dry in Thin. It cures completely clear without leaving any tackiness to the body. So all that we do is use a little brush applicator and coat the thread body. This is where a rotary vise comes into its own because it allows you to coat the body evenly. We'll take your UV torch and set the UV resin. And that's it, the completed zebra image. I hope that you found this fly tying tutorial helpful and if you did, Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications, then we can let you know when we release any future tying tutorials. Until next time, cheers.